Here with reaction, Arizona Senate candidate, Republican, Carrie Lake. Uh, Carrie, so great to see you. Uh, I w I'm going to repeat this. Kamala Harris went into an abortion clinic in Minnesota, in a state where someone can um, get rid of a child up until almost the moment of birth. And they are, she is jawboning about this issue because that is all this campaign has. Yeah, they've got nothing, Dagan. I mean, they've practically destroyed our country. I wish she would have traveled about an hour, an hour and a half south of Tucson and seen the border and the carnage that they have created at the border, which is spreading through not only Arizona, the entire country. I was just in Tucson a couple of hours ago. We just returned home. The streets of Tucson are a mess because the addiction to drugs has caused a homeless crisis on the streets. Businesses are boarded up. Nobody wants to do business in a town where um, you see such horrible chronic street homelessness and the economy is affecting families. They can't talk about all that because they've created that disaster zone for American families, the economy, the border, crime, everything they touch is a nightmare. And so all they've got is abortion. Now, do I think we need to uh, update that law here in Arizona? I agree with President Trump, even though I'm completely pro-life. I think we need to have exceptions for rape and incest in the, the life of a mother. But what she is doing is nothing more than taking an issue that is so sensitive and personal and playing politics with it. It's disgusting. They are the extremists. They want abortion right up until the baby is born and even afterwards. And they don't want to talk about that. And that's a really good point. And that was the next question I was going to bring up to you, Carrie, which is I, I believe that's where your, your opponent in the Senate race actually stands on this issue is abortion uh, right up to the point of, of birth. Are you calling him out for that? They want to talk about your position on abortion. They want to talk about what happened with this 1800s law. But are you flipping it back on them? Because I think most uh, Arizonans don't agree with late-term partial birth abortion. I agree. I, I know most Arizonans don't agree with that. They want some common sense measures in place, but they don't want to see babies being killed right up until the uh, late term. They don't want to see uh, children, young girls being uh, sent into abortion clinics with their parents not even knowing what's going on and having no support. We need to do a better job, frankly. At I don't think the law is how we stop women from having abortions. We need to show women that we support them, that we as Republicans want to put forth policies that support families and show them that there are other options. The biggest lie of the left, the biggest lie of people like Ruben Gallego and uh, Kamala Harris is that they are pro-choice. Guess what? You get one choice when you walk into an abortion clinic, and that is abortion. There are other options. If you are financially struggling, there's help. If you don't think you can be a mother, there's adoptive services. And as Republicans, we need to make that more available and easier to uh, have an adoption and to make that process go a little more smoothly for people mm -hmm. so that we can save more babies, because that's what it's about at the end of the day, saving more babies. And how can we do that? And with good policy, I believe we can do that. Carrie, we want to get your reaction to Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs calling you out on ABC's The View of all places earlier today. <laughs> This is what they wanted when they when they worked to overturn Roe v. Wade. Uh, last in 2022, during the election, Carrie Lake continuously praised this 1864 ban. And now that they see it as a political albatross, they're all of a sudden trying to run away from it. Your reaction to that? Well, you can see, you can, you can just see the glee in their eyes. They want nine-month abortion right up until birth. They are the extremists. And, you know, Roe v. Wade was unconstitutional. People on the left and right admitted that. And all President Trump has done by having a great Supreme Court is to strike down something that was unconstitutional, push it to the states and let the people decide. And look, at the end of the day, we're going to have 50 different abortion laws. You might have one state that's restrictive and one state that's that is extreme. That's why we have to work to get into the hearts and minds of women and let them know there's help. Let them know that there's help if they're financially afraid. There's help if they don't think they can take care of a baby. And we need to start supporting families and women and encouraging a motherhood, parenthood, mm -hmm. and marriage. It really is the beauty of what makes life tick and ma what makes life worth it. 80% of women who choose abortion would not have if they were felt supported, whether it's by 
uh, their, uh, their significant other or by the community um, they would have chosen life. That's and by right. the way, you said 50 different choices. Well, uh, that's democracy in action. Let people choose. Let them have a vote on this yes. issue. Carrie Lake, uh, you are one of the best communicators what, in the what, Republican Party. R real quick, I've got 10 seconds. What, what, one more thing. Ask any mother on the planet what her greatest joy is. And no matter how hard it was, if she had to go it alone, if it was difficult, she will say, being a mother is my greatest joy. I want yeah. more women to have that. Carrie yeah. Lake. And men and the dads, too. Boom. Boom. Carrie Lake, right thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah.